uh, offensively, I thought we came out we were really productive and, and give them credit again that they were able to rally and, and get some, make some adjustments and get some stuff slowed down because we're, you know, we're operating and doing it. We, we're hard to stop, too. Uh, Questions for the players? Go ahead, Sal. Julian, was it their offensive line? What made a difference for them in the running game? Something we practice and harp on every week is wrapping up and tackling. We just didn't do a good job tackling today. I put a lot of that to, to myself, my own responsibility. You know, I miss eight tackles today. I felt, if not more. So you know, the tackles I did make, that's negated by the ones I did miss. Cause I mean, you see, the ones I missed, they ripped off 20 yards or so. So I mean, it's just more over, you know, us not making tackles. We had the guy wrapped up, and then you know, you look at we put ourselves in good third down situations in the second half. You know. I mean, it catches off guard and take one 30 yard downfield for a pass. You know, those kind of things can't happen. You got to get off the field. You know, you know, that's how you win football games, and we did that. Larry, after your big run, you guys are four points down, and the offense didn't really get the ball enough in the second half of the field. You guys had it maybe a little bit more. You could have done a little bit more with it after the touchdown <laughs> score. I feel like, you know, we got the ball enough. Like, even so they got on the field again, and, like, we just weren't being productive. Um, they, they got it when it kind of starts with me. I missed a lot of blocks out there. I'm going down, and guys are just going hard, and, like, it's me, like, missing a block. I mean, it's just everybody, we all, we all got to do the right thing at the right time and going at full speed, and, like, it's always, you got we can't have one guy doing that. So we just all got to do the right thing, and if we do that, we stay productive, I think, and if we just let it, we just let it go a little bit. Terry, how do you, from last week, you're on a high. Now this game is a little low. How do you? Uh, I mean, the first half offensively, we were executing. Um, I wouldn't call it a low, but we had to do. I mean, we did a lot of great things offensively. The thing that happened is after a very big run, we stopped executing in some plays, and our offense is based on everybody being at the right spot at the right time, doing the right thing. And if one guy is missing the assignment, you know, that, that can be hurt. That's a lot. So uh, we just got to keep executing. Larry, just tell us about your 80-yard uh, run at the start of the second half. The defense had played well, uh, forced a punt, and you get the ball. And uh, what was it like when you saw the opening? Um, I mean, it feels good, I guess. Like, I, get, I feel like you guys kind of look at the wrong thing. Like, you, you see, like, a good run, but you miss, like, Terry's block on the middle linebacker. You're not talking about Momo, just crushing the off the line dominating the offense. Receivers working up to the second and third level. Like, I mean, it's just us executing, just showing how fun we can be. I mean, the run's not even that important. Like, when you watch how well we're blocking and how well we play together as a team, like, that's the thing you have to be paying attention to. I was going to ask Kelvin about uh, is your first chance to play an extended, play the whole second half. How did it feel out there today? Um, it was a little fast at first. You know, uh, I got to come in, had to make, make more <laughs> correct reads and slow the game down to the level that I'm capable of playing at. And, uh, Put the, put the ball in the, the running back's hands and let them make plays because that's what they do. Just going to ask Julian, uh, you're making a lot of plays out there, but uh, Williams for Boston College had uh, the 260 yards. What would what have made it tough to stop him today? I mean, just go back, you know, one thing we harp on, he's wrapping up and tackling. You know what I mean? I mean, he's a powerful back. I, I, can't, I give him his credit. I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a load, but at the same time, you know, you wrap up and you bring yourself to him and bring him in. I mean, he has to go down. That's just the nature of physics. So, I mean, um, you know, then, you know, swarming to the ball, I think we could have did a better job of that. You know, just, you know, one player make contact. People needs to come. People got to come. But, um, I mean, that guy, he had a day to do, you know. He, um, he shed some tackles. You know, he took advantage of the miscues we made and had a great career day. So, I mean, I took my head off to him. But then at the same time, it's just like we're a better defense than that. And you've seen that from us. We're going to get better from here. You know, that starts with leadership. It's important. Uh, go ahead, sir. Larry, during the week, there was some uncertainty about whether the game would be played. Did you at any point think it might not be played, and did it affect your thinking preparing for the game? No, I just assume we're going to play. Like, I, I love football. I just want to play. I stay in my lane. Like, they said, like, there's some uncertainty. That's not – I could do nothing to even affect that. So, with me, I just came in like it was a normal week. Just It's a regular week of practice, and we're going to play on Saturday. And I was just treating if they sold us Saturday and we weren't going to play them. It's okay, but I didn't let it stress me out. Like, you just you can't do that. I couldn't affect it. I, they weren't looking for my opinion, so I just <laughs> stayed on the land and just went about the week. You okay with the players? Okay, guys. Coach Alderson will stay for a couple of questions. Thank you.
Yes, sir. Mr. Brett will follow you. 